right, folks, so we are finally out here on the Alvord. Um, I've been out here for a couple days with my friends uh, Ozzy and Jay and their cool little overland setup and trailer. And uh, we've just been really blessed with some amazing weather. Uh, it's November, first part of November, and it's a little chilly right now in th this morning, but it's still not bad. And during the day, it's been sunny and warm and t-shirt weather and another anomaly is the fact that it's not windy there is not a stitch of wind right now at all on the alvord which uh, i think to many who have been out here know that that's kind of an anomaly that i've been out here a few times and it's always been super windy and gusty and so to just be out here and on a beautiful day and having no wind it's uh, what a what a pleasure but uh, anyways, uh, Ozzy and Jay, they're going to have to head back to Nevada where they live in Nevada today and um, I'm just going to pack up and I've got another little quick route that I want to see if I can work out that will get me uh, over from here to the uh, Willow Creek Hot Springs and uh, I want to check that out. I could definitely enjoy uh, sit soaking in a hot springs for a few for a few after the uh, week-long trip getting here through all dirt roads and the, the route that I took from Christmas Valley all the way here, which actually, if you guys have been following along the channel, uh, know I did a route with the Kia that got me from Bend, Oregon to Christmas Valley. So I've actually got it all mapped out to where you can actually go from Bend all the way to uh, the Alvord Desert via dirt track as a really cool, fun, week-long overland trip and I've kind of mapped out a few little cool uh, scenic uh, places to check out along the way so uh, for the my people on Patreon definitely be watching for the GPX file that I'm going to be posting for you guys on that but anyways I'm just going to enjoy a little coffee here then we'll get packed up and then uh, we'll bring you guys along a little bit on the route that I'm going to uh, be messing with to try to get over to the Willow Creek Hot Springs um, and then I'll show you guys the hot springs a little bit. All right, folks, so we're all packed up and we're gonna start heading off the Alvord. Uh, Ozzy and Jay are gonna head their separate way off to Nevada and we're gonna head to some hot springs. All right, so I was on my way to the hot springs and I was gonna be passing pretty close to Field Station and even though I already stopped here yesterday with uh, Ozzy and Jay and we did the whole you know, milkshake and burger thing and it was really, really good, I just couldn't resist getting by here again and uh, having a double cheeseburger since it was pretty close to noon. But anyways, this is the one place uh, around the Alvord that you can get fuel and propane and you know, they've got a, a few groceries, not much, but you got beer and, and uh, a little bit of a selection of hard liquor as well. So uh, if, if you're in need of supplies towards the end of that, uh, the route that I, I took or when you get here, this is the one place to get it, but just be aware, uh, you will be paying for it. Uh, everything here is pretty expensive. You know, as you expect any small little location out in the middle of nowhere would be. But um, but if you do, like I said, to get by here, you definitely do have to try the milkshake and the uh, burger. It's super good. All right, well, now that we've eaten that big burger, I am so full I can hardly stand myself. But we're gonna head off to the hot springs. We're gonna take some dirt track to get there. That'll be fun. And then we'll have a nice relaxing evening coming up. So let's get on the road.
All right, folks, I just want to take a minute and again thank Jackery for sponsoring the content on this channel. If it wasn't for my Jackery products, much of what you guys see would never actually happen. These products make it possible for me to be able to spend more time out here in the field where I need to be creating content for you guys and less time in town near power sources. I rely heavily on my Jack Honda Jackery 290, my Jackery Explorer 500, and my Jackery Explorer 240 to keep all this equipment up and running while I'm out in these remote locations. They're oftentimes dirty, dusty, bounced around in this truck, yet they continue to function and they've never failed on me. So uh, if you guys are serious about wanting a good portable power solution for your adventures outdoors, Give the line of Jackery uh, Power Products a check. You can find them on my website, www.primal-outdoors.com forward slash Jackery. And if you purchase one through my website, that lets them know that uh, you found it on the Primal Outdoors channel. And hopefully they will continue keeping me up and running out in the field. All right guys, so success. You know, I finally made it. We're at the end of a very long trip. You know, we started actually, it is Monday and we started it the following Tuesday. Um, it's been a few videos long, but um, it's gonna be all worth it now. You know, we've got a cool route that we uh, all mapped out and we get to finish it by sitting in uh, this very, very nicely warm hot spring, so. Anyways, like I said, if you guys are interested on in the route, check out my Patreon. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down below. And uh, of course, you know, you can always uh, leave the complaints in the complaint box below as well. And we'll catch you guys again outside. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever free.